Have you guys seen his stuff online? I found him a couple years ago and I was just really interested in what he's doing. A lot of podcasts, a lot of videos. He's really, really well versed in training, diet, sports pharmacology and all that stuff. He's got a members website. I've been a member for a little while now. It's teameevilgsp.com. You guys would love that if you're interested in any of this stuff. This guy is the man. And now you're gonna train with me. I am, we yeah. are. So he's got a really big training history and there's some numbers on the screen to show some of the stuff he's done and some of the things that he's been doing for, how long have you been training, 35 years? Officially commercial gym, Christmas day, 1981. Okay, longer than everyone here has been alive. The gray is not fake. <laughs> <laughs> but there are some videos we've done where we do some sit and talk. I've picked his brain a little bit. You can go to the members area, you just hit the join button on the YouTube channel, it's, it's right there. And you can see some of those snippets. They're really interesting conversations. But he's also a coffee, like super master. I got something that you've never done before. That has Concerned. To do with, it has to do with coffee. I'm in. When was the last time you hit a pinata? Neverish. You never hit a pinata? I think not. Or in a gym, it's a perfect place, especially the attachment rack is just loaded full of things that could be used as bludgeoning weapons. So you can have your choice of anything to destroy the pinata. Were I you, I would jump up and kung fu kick yes. said pinata, but I'm, I'm not. Choose okay. your weapon. You got easy curl bars, you got lat attachments, you got mag grips, you got deadlift tricep jack. bars, you got a deadlift jack, you got, shoot, I mean, if you can't find something to smack a pinata with over here, that's a 63 pound hammer. <laughs> I would recommend that. This one. Why, would, why, would, why do you need balls on the end of a lat pull down? Because I left mine in my gym bag. <laughs> I'm going around from station to station. All right. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> what, what's inside? Uh, coffee and is, is that aliens? Coffee beans and They're, monsters. Yep. Monsters. I love the fact that he's got a coffee bean wedge between his feet. <laughs> <laughs> that seems so appropriate. Welcome to the gym. Why, thank you. <laughs> I, I, I feel quite at home now. Good. Let's do legs. Okay. So he's actually. 75 years old. What? And he's squatting 330 over here for reps. 50 years old. <laughs> so just kind of like doing a little bit of warm ups and squats before we get a leg extension, which is our first real exercise. Pre exhaust over there with some leg extension sets of doom. We're going to kind of waddle, stumble, grab our way over back over here, and then see what we can do on it then. It's a body weight discrepancy. You're what, 240? 250? Uh, 245. Yeah. You're what? 101, 222, give or take. Yeah. 101 to 222, that's a big range. <laughs> kilos. Oh! The, the, world, the world actually works at kilos. Right? Oh, no! There's a video of him on Instagram not too long ago where he's doing 405 for 10. Is that right? It's on the side of the screen, you can see it. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Yeah. We, not all. You have conversations at the bottom of the squat? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> I do that all the time. It's a forgotten training technique, I see. It is. Where's your conversation at the bottom? No, it was talking to me. Roderick does a lot of talking videos, a lot of really good information videos, but you don't film too many workout videos, do you? I don't. He doesn't. So this is new for him. Do you know why I don't do a lot? Um, I actually don't. Because I'm too busy fucking training. <laughs> well, a lot of you guys don't understand, there's a difference between training and training entertainment, and there's training for YouTube. And training. Come You're on. Not supposed to Come on. Back again. So we're not gonna film every set, but this is what we're gonna be doing. Let's go. This is quad extension doom. I should be for 10 or 12. It's not that heavy. Full range. Yeah. Yeah. Full range. Yeah. Back. Ah. Swinging motion. Full range. And more reps. Just that's it. Just yep. And more. And rhythm. Swinging. Legs. Ah. More. Okay, Ooh. one more. Squeezing, squeezing. Ooh. 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 Five, four, three, two. Okay, a little breath, a little oxygen. Then we go swinging and up, up, ah.
squeezy for the ankles. Go to the ankles. Go to the ankles. Make the ankles. Squeeze. Ah, quads. Quads. Good. Let go. Ah. 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 All right. <laughs> woo. 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 I have to say that was probably the. Uh, that's the hardest I've ever seen anyone do a set in this gym. You need, yeah. you need new people in your gym. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 20? 20 start? Okay. okay. 15. Come on. Okay. Come on. 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 I'm driving. You shut up. Come on. More. More reps. More reps. Come on, come on, swing! Come on, get up! Swing! Swing! Come on! Come on! Two more! One more! One more! Up, 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 up! Squeeze! 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 Squeeze. Squeeze. Tensions! Tensions! Quads! Quads! I take away you rest. I take away you rest. Rest, 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 rest. One, two, three. You! Tension, tension! And go! Come on, go! Come on! Come on, you! I thought you were uh, being theatrical, but you weren't. There's no way to get through that unless you fucking freak out. <laughs> I don't think you do that without a second person either. You need someone else to fuck. Yeah, 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 it's a two, two man show. No, yeah, I can't, I can't do a set like that without someone helping me. So that's set number one of? Four or five. Four or five. Yeah. I can't Ooh. help you if you're gonna fall over. Ooh. I'm still falling over. A lot. When your training partner starts to fail, that's when you really get it fucked up. So what are we looking for in these reps, Roderick? The same as the actual question, that's good. In terms of outcome or in terms of execution? Execution. In terms of execution, the idea is to take the violence away. Make this more of a softer, swinging, I know momentum is typically a bad word in the world of strength training, but think maybe seesaw, maybe like ball on a rope, and the idea is to keep the ball moving. On a seesaw, it's to keep that floating action. It's not to be bang, bang. It's to float back and forth. He lifts with what he can, I supply what I can, and there's just this synergistic ability to work well beyond what his quads would do on their own. Mm -hmm. Because keep in mind, this is really in the structure of this workout. This is the warm up for squatting. This is the warm up to pre fatigue the quads so that the vulnerable low back glutes and hamstrings are overstrung and squatting can be safer and more effective. So even though this is like, oh, to obliterate total destruction of the quads, it's really total fatigue of the quads to eliminate them so that other things can work in other exercises. So enough talking, get to work. Let's do. You, come on. Come on, come on in. That's it. Come on, come on. More, at least two more. At least one more, we stop at the top, 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 top. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Quads, quads, where's the feathering? What's going on? Come on, you goddamn little fur. Took that personally. Where's the feathering? <laughs> <laughs> the people I trained with coming up, I would have literally been standing outside that door having a fucking panic attack about what was gonna happen to me when I went in that room. I will give you a small pass. You're underfed, over cardio. It's a small pass. <laughs> oh, and by the way, no laying on the floor and fake puking and shit. I'm not laying. No. Two, three. <laughs> Mufu video is of course all about Juji and the Mufu. I feel compelled to give you a little 
a little insight into what's going on here. Me, my brand, the way I program and the way I conceptualize programming is that there's basically two models. There's a effort, notice I didn't use the word intensity, that's wrong. There's an effort-based model and then there's a volume-based model. This is clearly the effort-based model. This is not about choosing to do lots and lots of sets. As a matter of fact, you can't do a lot of sets in this fashion. This is not about pursuing PRs or special numbers. This is about hard, hard, shamefully, painfully hard work. That is the coin of the realm here. If it makes it harder or more hurtful, that's what we want to do. Then, in an off-season scenario, it's much more lowered effort, RPE if you will, lowered, and the difference is made up with just volume. So we use volume to overcome, quantity overcomes quality at that point, and we just simply do more work. That supports greater off-season fitnesses, greater, less exposure to shear forces and egregious loads. So things like 10 sets of 10, things like gentle pre-exhausting both leg curl, leg extension, then sets of 20 or even 30 reps in a leg press, that sort of thing. So just so you're aware, this is not a method of training that I would recommend for anyone that's a beginner and two, even for someone advanced, it's not a year round full-time modality. This is purely na narrow niche periods of time. I feel compelled to tell you that because I think a lot of these training videos lack context and you get the sense that people maybe behave differently than they really do. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's a very big disturbance. See, he's at a big disadvantage though because he's using more of the muscle groups that involve the leg extension. I have a wider stance squat, so I'm gonna be able to access fresh muscles, right? Yes, but in the same breath, I can't show you on camera, but I have hair on my parts, so I don't get to use that as an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to make excuses and exceptions. You crawl into the front bar, you go up and down where you just go painfully down. Repeat, 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 repeat. Just uh, FYI, guys, they're talking about rest periods. The, they're shorter than I usually do, yeah. But uh, it's about destruction. Are, well, it's, I asked him, "Does he do rest periods?" He said yes, but because if he said no, I would have wondered why. Yeah, the goal here is kind of sounds like you're talking at both sides of your mouth, but it's the smallest rest period you can get away with, but yet still preserving that concept of maximal effort applied during the set. So, even though it's a, the minimum rest period possible, that could be four or five minutes, if that's the smallest one possible, it'll afford you the ability to get back under the bar. Oh! Ooh, wee! Bar keeps low, or your feet keep getting wider. What's going on? Ooh. Load the legs, a little more depth. Ooh. 
Halfway. Use part. Four. Come on. Use part. Yep. I think two. Big breath. Elbows down. Head up. Shoulder down more. Today's session is to cause destruction, havoc, lay waste, that sort of thing. You don't do that sitting on a fucking table. <laughs> you don't know the goddamn bar. Take these knees off. They are off, dude. We didn't put them on. <laughs> oh. You did that sleeve free. Oh, shit. You see? <laughs> you said he'll get to four, start to feel it at four, suffer through till six and eight. Yeah. Yeah. First four should be pretty, pretty sexy. Five and six will be hard. Seven and eight, he won't want to do. This is leg day, not squat day. Hold your goddamn quads. Good. Repeat. Nice. Well schedule. No. Yep, that was the first one made noise. Mm -hmm. Now two more. No. One more. Come on. Work. Stand up, breathe. Three big breaths. Elbows down, head up. Give me two reps. No fuck up. Ooh. One more rep. Knees apart. That was garbage. God shit. Good catch. <laughs> you have to be the one to say this, because I thought I'd wear this medal, but congratulations. That's how you fuck know. Not a soul in this world could question your RPE, because you left that shit on the floor. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> Two, three minutes rest, then we start this all over with hamstrings. Uh, sure. All right, we are on hamstring doom with the sick right. ham curl. More. Mantra more. We'll just do more. <laughs> Stay at the bottom, squeezing. Let me have it. 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 There. There we go. Ah! Ah! Little, little wiggles. There's a little squeezers right there. Squeezers. Ah! Ah! Done. I don't know. I picked the right hamstring machine, huh? You usually don't train hamstrings, yeah? No, I haven't done a leg curl. Legitimate set of leg curls, I've rather done five years. I don't like to throw genetics or gifts or any of that bullshit around because I think it's just used to explain away most people's hard fucking work. But in this case, I will confess, I am so very, very advantaged at squatting that squatting is a very whole body exercise for me. I literally need not do anything for low back or hamstrings because squats are so goddamn safe and effective for me. Just work, work your way through it. Disconnect yourself from that bullshit ledger bookkeeping, Einstein kind of nonsense. This isn't about RPEs and about beating a log book and setting PRs. This is about making every last goddamn fiber that runs from your ass to your knees to work. And not just work, but quit. You want your hamstrings to quit and go home. I'm momentarily betting on you, don't make me wrong. Come on. And we fly. Whole range, trying to really get that bottom. Ah. Good. More. That's it. One more. Ah. Stay there. Ah. Right there. Right there. Right there. Little squeezers. Little ah. squeezers. Come on. Come on. Ah. Right. Just trying to show off that he was cool and used two extra plates. That's all this. That's all I was. I was just trying to be a good trade, journey partner, and move things where they need to be for you. You have the entirely the wrong mindset because today, 
on a day like today, a good training partner is the one that causes me the most egregious inconvenience and pain. All right, come on. Come on! All right, floaters. Float. All the way top. All the way top. What are you thinking, Sam? I'm just thinking, when did you reach doom? Or have you reached it? Uh... <laughs> First set of quad extensions. Like that, that, there, there. Create tension, create tension. Hamstrings. It's always just a stretch. I'm a flexible man. Come on! Ah, damn it! Go ahead, write that down in your ledger book. How the fuck are you supposed to write that down? Doom. Doom. Very so, simple phrase. So when you when you do shit like that, it's just incalculable. You just write doom? Yes. Work out of doom. Work out of doom. Lying in your own vomit. Uh, Pools of blood. RPE 76 million 12. Hey, it's, so you're doing RDLs? Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't dignify it with that name. I'd say we're doing Smith Machine bent knee deadlifts. Well, we're doing this at the end of the workout, which is different. Being hyperflexible, <laughs> stifling a deadlift is probably a, a questionable move for you. Thank you! Keep in mind, you and I are just a deep subset of the populace. Most people can't touch their toes, much less do a split. Yeah. Yeah, but guys that know he can do the splits. Slow it down a little bit. There's no need to be that aggressive with the bar. The bar is a tool. Hips, come in. Yep. So you train the hamstrings from the top and the bottom. Two muscles, two muscle groups. Biceps femoris, bend to the knee. Semimembranosus and semitendinosus cross into the hip. So you need the hips to come forward. So motion at two, point, two axes. <sighs> That's it. Load, 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 load. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Up, in, 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 yes, ramming speed. It's, it's easy to talk about having 40 years of experience. It's much harder to grab all the bar and actually do it. I like the quad extensions of squats because I feel like it's everything that most people who work out at a gym can do. 100%. But they're not doing it the way we just did it. I've never seen anyone in public do that. It's a privilege to have you here. Bring the hips in a little more. That's it, a little knee bend, and then hips in, 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 in. Finish more in, really marry the bar at the top. Hips in, better. So what do you want to do next? Where is our next? Oh, that's, this. That, that's what I want to do next. This. Because I'm going to regret saying this at this point, talking to some pro bodybuilders, the adductors, partly what gives the illusion of the quad being larger from the front. Sure. And so a lot of them that start training that machine going hard on it will notice that their legs show on stage better. So I want you to destroy my groin over there. Bro, what are you talking about, man? To so whoever from a to background, he's saying that he would he'd do movements more as accessories rather than muscles. Yeah. And so he would place this on a day that it's more complimentary to a competitive lift of his. Whereas my goal right now is more for hypertrophy. So well, I wouldn't, I, even, I wouldn't even go so far as to say a competitive lift, just whatever the core motion of that day was. Okay. Like for instance, there are times when I didn't do sumo deadlifts as a competitive lift, yeah. but I did them. So if that was the focus lift of the day, then all the accessory stuff would have involved that open hip position. Yeah. So I would have done abduction, adduction. I would have maybe done some like wide zerchers or like lateral uh, lunges, yeah. you know, something that required that wide foot stance. The people that mentored me through this very early on suggested rather than think of it as body parts or muscles, think of it as systems, complementary systems. So if you do say you did wide bench presses, you would then do you know, wide overhead presses or you know, wide dumbbell presses or to, to supplement that system of movement. Well guys, I guess we got a little bit more work here to do then we're gonna eat and drink coffee. Check out the videos that we did that's on the uh, member section. Check out his website, teamevilgsp.com. 
join it, it's worth it. It's uh, what's the cost? It's for a year mini membership. It's two hundred bucks, one ninety nine. It's where dude, there's mm -hmm. thousands and thousands of hours. Mm -hmm. You just search and you'll find anything you want, like anything that's with training, nutrition, sports performance, all that stuff. There's an amazing amount of material on there. And a lot of times I'm just in the kitchen, just prepping food and just like getting ready for the next day or something. And I just got my headphones on, just listening to it. So check out Broderick. Broderick, we're gonna do some more of this crap. They don't want to watch us play with their groins. So, <laughs> do you have anything that you would like to say? <laughs> no. No? Okay.